spot as well. And in this video, we're going to be starting on, on the zombies from uh, Dungeon Saga. Um, now, the zombies I'm going to be doing um, in a couple of different ways. One lot I'm going to do in a wash, and the other lot I'm going to actually paint. So, I'm going to do these, these ones in a wash, and these ones I'm going to paint. So, we'll see how the difference... Well, see how different they look when we've finished. Um, I will be adding touches of paint onto different areas of these models. Um, <clears throat> I, say, I just want to see how different they can look. So, let's get on with it, shall we? We're going to start off I say, with uh, a wash of, when I can find it, and if you're wondering what that cracking noise is, <laughs> oh, that has got a ball. Right, so, we're going to have a wash of Nuln oil. So we're going to have a very grey skin for these zombies. Okay, so... As I said, some of these areas will be having, um, what you call it, um, paint on them. So we can actually afford to go over most, if not, well, more, if at all of the skin, we can go over. Um, I don't want to go over anything other than the skin at the moment. In figures yes last night and uh, in fact I decided to do a few while I was watching something and ended up going through them all and uh, <clears throat> I've put most of them together I'm not put all of them together yet unfortunately I have a, a bit of an issue with uh, the um, skeleton um, oh what was it called funny bones the undead jester um, he uh, his arms are very very fragile and thin and unfortunately I they, they snapped off as I was taking them or detaching the arms from the uh, I'll say sprue for want of a better word it, it's not a sprue but you know what I mean um, clipping on the waist on all the excess uh, <clears throat> resin from it and um, both of them, I've lost both arms unfortunately so um, you know, one snaps off and I found it and the other one's too small I can't see it anywhere so unfortunately I'll not be able to put um, funny bones together I have contacted Mantic to see if there's any chance of being able to get hold of a fresh one, but I'm not holding my breath on that. <laughs> so if anybody's got one they don't want, let me know. <laughs> okay, so that's that. In case you're wondering, I brought my nail. Um, right, so that's the wash done for those. Now we can't really do much else on these ones until the wash dries. So what I am going to do is push them to the back and get these ones out. Now these ones, um, I said we have a little 
uh, jackety type thing on them and trousers and uh, that type of effety bob so uh, what we're going to do with these ones slightly different <coughs> when I can find the colour that I'm looking for um, I can't find it is that it? ah here we go found it <laughs> now this one is more of a putrid rotting um, colour uh, tone so we're using nurgling green <coughs> I want these to look that's unpleasant colour these are the fresh zombies well not fresh zombies the grey ones do that oh dear it's going to be a little bit older these zombies and they're rotting a little bit more and not terribly pleasant not that zombies are actually pleasant in any way but I mean I suppose I could what I could have done was just um, give it a wash with green but and so I want to do different effects for, oops I want to do different effects for these and see how they look <coughs> incredibly detailed for being just like a, a rank and file troop kind of thing um, <clears throat> but they're detailed enough so I can tell what I'm painting <clears throat> we do we have lost a little bit of detail with putting the uh, spray on first, but not to worry. We'll pop. And, uh... Oh, heck. My nose has started itching again. Which is not nice. And once we've done this, we're going to wash it with a different colour that, we're, that we, you would expect. Um, <clears throat> we're not washing it in green, we're not washing it in black. You will find that we're washing it in very shortly. Just trying to find all the little holes and rips in his trousers <clears throat> and his jacket there as well there's some behind his head oh excuse me why is it my nose starts itching when I start painting <laughs> Sure that everywhere that we need to be this colour is this colour. <clears throat> and that's that. What we're going to be doing. So with this it's mainly going to be painted stuff whereas the other the three we've just washed and um, that's going to be a mixture of the two a little bit of painting a little bit of well, the majority of it's going to be washed whereas this the majority is going to be painted and it's just going to be deep um, accented rather by the the wash 
rather than being primarily wash. Um, <coughs> it's uh, <coughs> I think I'm going to have to raise the camera a little because I keep going off camera. <coughs> and it's funny when I think I've got <coughs> the right angle, then I start painting and realise that I'm miles off. <laughs> Almost two of these zombies done. I'm going to concentrate on the flesh colours in these videos for the first for the first one. Um, sorry about all the crunching. But, uh, a couple of things happen when I start painting. I decide decides I'm going to make a noise and my nose starts itching. It's almost inevitable, but it happens. <laughs> there we go. I think that's it for that one. <clears throat> and finally, this one. This one we can do a little, these three we can do a little bit more with at the moment because I don't need to do the um, washes straight away. So I can actually concentrate on the clothing first of all. Um, <clears throat> Now with this being like a medieval type, um, <coughs> medieval fancy type of setting, um, I don't want to give in too bright of colours for the clothing because they will be more rustic, uh, browns and that kind of thing. So uh, that's what you're going to be seeing from the clothing the wearing. Be very simple clothes. Um, <coughs> And shades of probably shades of brown, I would imagine. Um, although saying that, there was a lot of colour back then, I or in the Middle Ages, um, depending on what station you had in life. If you had money, you had colourful clothes. If you didn't have money, you had rags and I believe I forgot to do the rips and tears in the second one. Let's go back to that first of all, then we can make sure we finish off. I've got to make sure that it's all done right. <laughs> but there again, saying that, that's just me. I always miss things and have to go back to them. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so that's that done. <clears throat> and is actually sprawled out behind me on the couch <laughs> okay so what we're going to be doing now is using um, what color could we use I don't want to use anything too brown let's use this one this one is Talan sand it's not much difference in the shade of this to the um, flesh um, it may not show up as much on camera. I hope you can see it and you can see a difference between it. It's a very similar shade. I'm not saying it's the same colour because this is more brownish colour, but it's a similar shade so it may not show up too well. Um, but... Uh, 
So it's a nice one to use for the shirt or the jacket or whatever it may be. I would say shirt because it's short sleeved. Um, I may have to go back in with the Nurgling Green. A bit later, but who knows? In fact, I don't think I did the rips in the other two models. The same with the other two as well. It's just going to be batch painted, quite literally. They're all going to be done similar colours, similar kind of. Well, in fact, they're all going to be painted the same. As I was saying at the beginning of this, I'm not doing each individual. You never know, I may do some a little bit of individuality with some of the uh, different colour. Uh, I might do different trousers. I might do a different wash on each one to make them stand out a bit more. Um, I suppose doing all the skeletons was okay, but. These would be individuals, wouldn't they? So I doubt whether they don't be wearing the same thing unless they were in like, a uniform. This one, mm -hmm. the um, oh, what was I going to say? Then I forgot. I did want to say something, I forgot what it was. As soon as I started speaking, it drove out what I wanted to say. <laughs> I hate it when that happens. Oh dear. Never mind. Not to worry. Alright, so that's that done. Um, I think I'll start. <clears throat> What's the word I'm looking for? Um, looking at something a little more individual for these. Um, <clears throat> so, <clears throat> first of all, we'll go with um, Abaddon Black, which is that colour. In fact, I won't. My, uh, I'm going to have to leave it there for the time being because the. Um, 
memory card and this is full. So I'll have to leave it and uh, I will get back as soon as I can.